They wanted feedback? Well, they got it. The Salt Lake City Council got an earful tonight from residents over upset over the locations of new homeless resource centers. New specialist Andrew Adams was at the meeting and is live with the story. Andrew, you predicted a lot of emotion at this meeting. And that was certainly true, Dini. A lot of people in attendance, about 150 residents. So many residents, they actually had to put dozens in an overflow room. We heard a lot of frustration about the process. Ice on the outside. And on the inside, I'm just really afraid of it. Straight fire. What you've done is wrong. It's been handled poorly from the beginning. The trolley stop is going to turn into a sex and drug store. Salt Lake homeowners came to City Hall to flamethrow over the four announced homeless resource center sites. It Time. seemed like it was announced with no backup plan as to why it's going to work and how you're going to pull the resources to make it work. One site especially has residents mad. I request council withdraw its support for the 653 East Simpson Avenue homeless shelter site. But the process in general isn't without scrutiny. And I think that's what troubles us all the most is the lack of knowledge about this system. The council says it doesn't mind hearing the frustration. I really do think they have an opportunity to provide us with some feedback. We really do want to hear their concerns. The city has set up five more meetings and workshops in the next two weeks. We have a lot of opportunity to incorporate some design modifications, security, uh, even our the individuals we put in the specific sites hasn't been determined yet. These residents want more than that. We are going to fight this. And it's not because we don't care about homeless people or their plight. It's because we care about our homes. Homes these residents hope aren't left in the cold by a homeless resource center. So I hope you will reconsider because I do not think this is the right place for one. Even Salt Lake County Mayor Ben McAdams telling reporters today it was not a good idea not soliciting public input during the site selection process. City Mayor Jackie Biskupsi affirming tonight that uh, that they did not want to pit neighborhoods against each other during this entire process. Back to you. It sounds like the locations are still non-negotiable then. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. yeah, she's saying that the sites are what they are. All right, Andrew, thank you.